and you can also communicate with your friends it's like it's going to be something part of my life i really enjoyed it and i'm, I'm glad that you really enjoyed the time and nanako san what about you it was, it's really fun and i'm really surprised that it can be that uh, detail of customization for the makeup and then you can change the color and very uh, small parts of the shoes you can also customize the color and as if you can you can also you know meet your friends at school and then you come home you can still play with your friends i think i'm going to play it until very late at night i won't be able to stop playing well please do enjoy the game while also take care of yourself Again, thank you very much. And lastly, some announcement from uh, Life Makeover. So now we are available for pre-registration and you can get gorgeous novelty. And we are doing a special campaign to have the gift set for Joe Stewart and also the business card uh, campaign. Uh, you will find the latest information on our official accounts and so uh, please tweet with the hashtag and anyone can participate in the campaign and thank you very much for being with us until the end of the program and please uh, enjoy this game and customize your life and to end this program we're going to play a video uh, to introduce the games of art of our games uh, please enjoy to the end thank you
Good afternoon. I am Hikaru. Akao, who is uh, playing the part of、uh, Hitotsuya Nagiriui. And I am、um, Fuji Asuka playing Aizawa Kazuha. This is TGS special, so this time we have Kobayashi san with us as well. I am producer of the Last Ballet Kobayashi. Thank you for having me today. And today we have Tamegai Hana, who is a voice actor for Matsumura Fuka as well. Hi, everyone. I am Tamegai Hana, playing Matsumura Fuka. Thank you for having me today. This is the first time you are joining. Thank you very much for coming. So, you guys know each other, right? Yes. So, the, you are a senior, a junior, and,、uh, but I cannot call you my junior. Actually, you're my senior. So, anyway, thank you very much for coming today. And Kobayashi san, could you please talk about the reason why we have Tamegai san today? As we have made an announcement beforehand, so for the next event, we are going to have Matsumura Fuka. Then Tamegai san is、uh, playing that part. So that is why we are having Tamegai san today. That's exciting. And this is a TG a special version. So that is why we are here in this studio. It's wonderful. We have all the characters. And、uh, it's not blue background or a blue,、uh, blue, green background. So, this is a real background we have here today. We have Azusa and Miriam. She's actually she's very small. I didn't know that she is this small. Now, probably the, the size of characters is not real. But、uh, anyway, we have、uh, this. In front of us as well, Tamegai san, you are now at a different school. So, this is the first time you come to the studio, but then now you're at a different school. So, this is what you have to find out from the story as well. Anyway, that's enough for joking. And、uh, at TGS,、uh, we have live、uh, streaming and、uh, we have a special campaign for you. So, please stay with us at the end of this streaming. So, this live streaming is about the latest information related to Assault Lily Last Ballet, and also we would like to have some fun with you as well. So, from TGS official channel, you can enjoy this streaming as well. Once again, hello everyone. And the, for people watching this Last Ballet broadcaster, are you having fun? <laughs> So, okay, Kobayashi san, you、uh, do not have the, the symbol of a school、um, in front of your desk. So, and some people gave us a comment that they are having fun. And some people are calling Matsumura san. We have lots of comments. Thank you for that. Okay, so and、uh, we welcome more comments from you as well. And、uh, we have some gift keywords. So during this、uh, live streaming,、uh, we will be giving you keywords with five characters. And if you give us a correct answer, you can get 300 magic jewels or 500、uh, skip tickets. And for skip tickets,、uh, to commemorate、uh, this live streaming at TGS,、uh, we Uh, providing you a special、um, amount of a ticket, and、uh, you have to give us accurate、uh, answer, meaning that you have to write it in a correct character such as hiragana or katakana. Then,、um, if 
you are you are watching uh, this uh, broadcasting from the streaming banner from the game you can get 150 magic jewels and you can get the reward until 11 59 p.m today and for our mission it will be on um 11 59 p.m as well and you can play the mission until 9 30 p.m and the uh, today uh, we are going to uh, talk about uh, playable information and also we would like to look at the animation and also that we are going to have um some live events as well so there are some heated relationship um which we uh, looked at actually it was quite a warming a relationship and also the Senrin is uh, something that, that related uh, to uh, that as well. That was a very interesting event. And anyways, this is for TGS special. So we would like to have some Twitter trending campaign. During this live streaming, if you tweet with hashtag last ballot broadcaster in TGS, then depending on the ranking of Twitter trend, uh, you can get these gifts. If we are ranked 20 or above, uh, you can get a 30 Ramnes or 500 skip tickets. Or if uh, we are ranked 10 or above, uh, the costume will be released or you can get um, gacha ticket. And also if... Um, uh, we are uh, uh, placed uh, more than a fifth place or above, uh, you can get uh, gacha tickets as well. So please uh, tweet with hashtag. And uh, this is another campaign. Uh, please follow us uh, from Twitter last ballot official account. And if you retweet the tweet uh, from official account, you have a chance to get gifts. And uh, everyone can get something, which means even though you cannot get the gift, you can get the original graphic. And those who participate this campaign can get uh, this uh, graphic. So let's look at what kind of event we are going to have. Okay, so before introducing the event, Ms. Kobayashi-san is going to remind us of the coming main story launch, which he announced on the other day. In a previous live broadcasting, we touched upon this main story. So a new chapter will be launched next winter. In relation to that, we've announced a spin-off of the main story will be released this autumn. This main story spin-off of Hellworld is the event we're going to announce and this live streaming. This event is related with a new chapter, so stay tuned. Kobayashi-san, thank you very much for your good information. So, as for the event of the main story spin-off, go ahead, please. Yes, please take a look. また well, a lot of information, right? Yes, at last. That's scary. It is the first time for us to show this. Yes, with Huka-san and Mitake-san. So now you heard their voices for the first time. And tomorrow, September 19th, from 12 o'clock, main story spin-off, Conflict of Rujin will be held. 
The spin-off is related with the new chapter, which will be launched next year, so please check this. And as you saw in the PV, Matsumura Fuka of Carnival appeared this event. So her part voice is added and a story this time. Matsumura Fuka is acted by Tamegai Hana, who is now with us for the first time in this last Barrett Broadcasting Station. So let's review Matsumura Fuka and also Kralibali. So Hana-san, go ahead, please. Yes, please take a look at this. Yes, this is Matsumura Fuka. Rare skill is a heliosphere, and she belongs to Kralibali. And also, she is the first grade in the Erensuke Girls Academy and also leader of Kralibli and also boosted BD. And regardless of the damage, the Kralibli Legion is just looking for the results of the performance. So she is a leader of the Legion and she does not, uh, she's not good uh, with Kazuha and other helpful members. She's very proactive and also she often had quarrels with Kazuha. So even if the citizens were not evacuated yet, they had the large scale battles and also they use the destruction of facilities to stop the shoes. So they're just looking for the performance of the results. Yes, as we commented, Rare Skill is first released. Well, so it's a heliosphere. It's the same as the Chikaru of Hellborn. But when I first see that, it was very impressive and surround, uh, surprising. So it's a little aggressive, right? So that now she has a heroes here, heroes here. So what kind of attacks are is he going to make? So when I hear Heliosphere, we get so excited. That's so surprising for us. So for the main story, you, we have battles with Helvor in the battlefield. So that's the characters we are seeing right now. And also we have unreleased information for Matsumura Fuka. So please take a look. Yes, she has lots of hobbies and favorites. And actually her hobby is to develop Saturn's plant, passion, antique good collection, and sing. And her favorite food is a sea urchin, and also her favorite animal is a ferret, white fur, black eye. And her charm is unique fondrel, Marte. So she loves ferret and white fur, black eye. So I checked that. That's a white, white ferret, and their eyes are black. It's very expensive. So it's a, it's a good, rich ferret. So is she having that animal or just looking at that? So it's like a character of the ferret. And I checked the ferret and I saw the videos and actually I found it's very cute. And also she is good at so actually she was very cute like the idol Lily so that's the prior information so Himehime will may say something about that so Himehime is already there on the screen so probably it will be something like idol Lily so stay tuned with that as well next look at this from this event, uh, from Querable, we are going to have Maki no Mitake for the first time. And the Maki no Mitake will have part voice in the story as well, and Kawase Maki will play her part. And she appeared in the PV as well, but the let's uh, look at her information as well. Okay, let me introduce her. Maki no Mitake is her name and her layer skill is registered. 
and she belongs to Queer Libre, that is her legion. And the, after the whole story of Hino Dejo, she had um, the intention to be the leader of the legion. And the, at um, Erens Gegers Academy, she is ranked at eight. And the, however, she was not able to reach uh, sevens, uh, which uh, was the the eligibility to be a leader. So she was not able to achieve her target and she was not satisfied with that and she was transferred to Ludwigers Academy, but the Ludwigers Academy collapsed and she came back to Erensege, but the, she is considered as a betrayer from the Erensege Girls Academy. So this is the first time that the, she has her graphic. And I didn't know that she is such a cute girl and she was such a, a cool person uh, in the PV. She looks a little bit scary actually in the PV. But um, I didn't know that she had uh, that uh, history with uh, Rudu Wicker's Academy and uh, it was uh, quite recent that she came back to Erensuke Girls Academy and the, again that this is the first time we have her in the story. Then we also have additional information regarding the new chapter, Kobayashi-san, please. Yes, uh, this is a new information uh, which uh, we will announce you for the first time. So we have a new chapter of the main story uh, from 2023. And a new chapter uh, will have the story of uh, three religions. And for Hewo, Quereble will appear. And for the main story spin-off, uh, before this a new chapter, we are going to have the second Quereble, Maki no Mitake. And also, in addition to that, we will show you the silhouette of um, unreleased Quereble members. They, uh, one of them is wearing a hat and the, even from a silhouette, we can tell that, that this, these are very cute characters. And if, probably sometime in the future, we will be able to know more about these characters. Thank you very much, Kobayashi-san. So that was the latest information. Then uh, let's uh, look at more information about conflict of Ryujin. First of all, let's uh, look at the story. The transportation helicopter of Erensuge was attacked by huge and uh, they got the information that the helicopter uh, clashed in Fuller Land and uh, it was um, known that the, the secret information of Erensuge extremist was in that helicopter and Noemi, who is the vice uh, principal, uh, asked the Kazuha uh, to recover that secret material. And um, Kazuha uh, for Noemi and uh, for Lily, who had a future, left to recover that secret material. However, at the site, they found the Quereble uh, members who arrived the first. So once again, it's about secret something. It's something that we don't know, but the, we have to protect it. And this time, once again, we have secret material. So for more information, we have the event tomorrow. Probably you will find more information about the secret material, or probably there will be no more information about the body anyway. Next. <laughs> so, um, actually, that you are doing better than I do in this studio, but anyway, now that we would like to start the live dubbing. So, how do you feel you have to do this in front of your uh, junior uh, voice actors? Stop it. So we always get numbers at live dubbing, but anyway, at this event story, I don't want to give you a spoiler, but the, we would like to do the live dubbing of a main story, a fifth story with Matsumura Fuka. Do you remember about this story? When I look at it uh, in the event, 
I was looking at this with a lot of interest. Akao-san, what will you do today? So actually, Akao-san will be just watching us doing live dubbing. So it's different from what we normally do. So now we are ready. Let's do it. Can I have the game screen, please? Attack by Charm. Who did that? You're annoying. You. You are. Actually, I don't have the time to take care of you. Quereble. Matsumura Fuka. You as well. Did you do that back? Then what? What if we were attackers? Why did you do that? You are Lily, but why did you do something that was against humanity? Why? Fuka? I hated you. Do you remember the comment I made at the ceremony of Hellboy? What do you mean? You want to protect all the people on the planet. You want to protect your people who fight together. And you want to protect the belief. That's disgusting. You always act like you are the only one justice. Why you are not attacking me? I know you are not that weak. Charm is the soul of Lily. And this is an ultimate weapon to fight against huge. It's not for our ally. Okay. Then... Why you want to stop us? Okay. Wait. Explosion, so what happened next? Jagger note. Why it's here? We could see there's a lot of tension there. So, it's quite rare that we are having this kind of very uh, serious um, scene from the game at uh, Last Ballad uh, Broadcaster. So probably we can do dubbing for someone who is not here. And actually, this is the situation that I always wanted to do, so I was a little bit nervous. So someone is saying, Fuka. Yeah, I understand how you feel. And also, uh, we got a different uh, comment saying, um, you have such a beautiful uh, voice. In the PV, it was not that long time that the I put your voice, so... But anyway, it's a wonderful character, Matsumura Fuka, and thank you very much for watching us uh, doing a live dubbing. Next, let's uh, look at a memoria from the event. First, this one. There's the Midnight Secret Operation. <laughs> Like this, it's very cute. And the uh, cat here. So that what is always warm. So Hitotsu Yonage team must have it as well, right? And also she is shooting at a strange posture. 
And personally, I suppose this is what exactly I want to have. It's very cute, nice. And also the ear is blue. And like this, the Kazuha's berry, like this. Next one. This is the midnight steel. About face. Is it a confidential information? Ah, uh, yes, it must be. It's inside. And see it, it's very cute. It's a pin badge. Cat. Oh, sorry, bear. Her favorite. It's a rubber band for hair. And Shizu is also loving bear, so she must have that as well. Yes, that's cool and cute. And next, the third one is hold your breath. Where? Where is she? I didn't know what part was shown here. Okay, so uh, the other one must be pink here. And that's very sexy. Yeah, here. So these are the three new ones, so please get it. And then I'll show you attributes and the roles of these event memoria. Midnight secret operation is water attribute, cost 21. The role is recovery. Once acquired, Aizawa Kazaha Night recapture will be released, and midnight steel is water attribute. Once acquired, Hatsukanoyo Hatsuka night recapture will be released. The role is normal range. Once activated, the role of defense will be added to the memoria. And then hold your breath is water attribute. Once acquired, Seritawa Chikaru night recapture will be released. The role is support. Once activated, the role of special range will be added to the memoria. Next, event gacha. Starfire Memorial with event special offer is newly added and picked up. On top of that, this event gacha has a bonus reward. According to the number of joint gachas, items like gacha tickets will be offered. And also, the Conflict of Illusion Pendant EX coupon, which can be exchanged with a Pendant EX for costume activation, is offered. Let's draw gacha to get the new memoria. And now we have event stamp as well, this one. It says, it's a shame. Oh, she's cool. So you can get this stamp with the medal acquisition achievement offer or reward. So that was a preview of the Conflict of Illusion, which is the main story spin off. Now let me show you the keyword of the gift item. The first keyword is this. Thank you very much. Now we are in the latter half of this program. But also, I have seen lots of comments. Uh, some say that we don't have the gift for you, but there should be. Koyasan, right? Yes. It's a great opportunity for you, or for everyone seeing this program, to get the special gift. It's up to you. Okay? But also, with a Twitter. So you are actually the warriors of Twitter. It's up to you. So let's keep at it. Please add more postings. And now we would like to move on to the new information for update. Kobayashi-san, please. 
Yes, please see that. So after the maintenance of September 15th, we released new memorial frameworks by 100, and we are now thinking about the function of warehouse, so you can hold more memorials. I'm so sorry for the, the inconvenience you are seeing right now, but we are now improving these functions. And also this one, we have decided to hold a top level legion lead. So, this is a cross time zone top region competition by the Division 1 Legion. Will be held in October and onward. Details will be released later, and I hope you are looking forward to seeing that. Thank you, Kawaii san. Now, let's see it. Starting from 20th of September, we are starting the 60th Legion League, and uh, we are accepting an entry from today, and you can um, complete your entry uh, by 11.59 p.m. Uh, 20th of September. And uh, from this uh, Legion League, uh, you can have the Tanaka Ichi Legendary Memorial Faithful Guardian, and the, now the evolution to Star 8 is available. And the at Region League a second a medal exchange extension, Ichi Legendary Piece 1 will be added. So Faithful Guardian is a water attribute memorial. So please uh, join this Region League uh, to evolve Faithful Guardian. And at our online store, we have a South Lily Fair, a Bushi Road online store. And uh, when you uh, purchase a 2,000 yen, then the, you can get uh, the bromide. And these are uh, nine um, the types um, which uh, we now accept the pre orders. And uh, we have actual products here. <laughs> <laughs> so Haruka is now crying. So this is what we have. That's so cute. They are wearing maid costumes and the probably it's for Valentine's Day. So uh, please uh, get uh, these. And uh, from September excuse me by um september 19th monday you can make a pre-order and please visit, visit the bushy road website so this is the first um information we will see here so we had the assault lily mini talk live and uh, we are now going to have the special distribution of this event so the event took place at the night of May 22nd, and we are going to have the special distribution of this uh, starting from September 18th for one week. And for further information, please check our official website. So that was announcement. So the next keyword is... The next keyword is... <laughs> it is a second keyword. Okay, now we have some announcement, and uh, because uh, this is a TGS a special edition, we have a special gift for you, which is 1,000 Maggie Jewels. Yes, you have to do gacha. And however, since this is last ballot broadcaster, we are not that um, easy. We have to try some game, and if we do well, then you can get a Maggie Jewel. So that, in that sense, uh, we have the lots of responsibility. So what we are going to do is huge punitive expedition shooting game. 
so this is what we did in the past. Actually, it's easy. Yes, it's easy for me. We have a three of us, and if a uh, three of us I can annihilate a uh, huge, that will be a success. And um, each one of us can try out uh, twice. Are uh, you ready? Yes, let's do it. But you now there's a huge pressure on our shoulders, so I'm not sure if I can do well. <laughs> and uh, the cameraman over there, he must be scary now because now we are starting um, to shoot huge over there. Samegai-san, can you start? Yes, let's do it. Yeah. That's huge responsibility. It went for wrong direction. Hey then, uh, please um, show us what um, we have, what we have to do. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I will shoot the smallest one. Wonderful, you did it. That's a senior voice actor. Okay, then I have to hit another one, remaining one. That's not acceptable. However, she hit that one. So actually, I wanted to have a um, wonderful, last successful shot from Tamegai-san, so that is uh, why I let her to do it. Yes! Because we are all leaders. We are all leaders. There's no reason that we cannot do this. Okay, we did it. We made it. You can get 1,000 Magi Jewels. Are we this good? Yes. But 1,000, that's not enough for gacha. We have to have 500 more, Kobayashi-san. Kobayashi-san, we want more Magi jewels. We are 500 short for gacha. 500 is just a half of 1,000. Okay, then you can have one more try. Then if you are successful, you can get more gift. How many do we have to shoot with the last try? Kamegai-san, do you want to do this? Okay, now we are with the good momentum. Okay, let's do it. You are so good. We are so good. Because we are leaders. Yes, so now we can give you 1,500 Magi jewels. If you are watching this live streaming on with your smartphone, when you open a last uh, ballot, you should be receiving uh, gifts already. Yes, we have already provided gifts. Wow, you are so good at doing this. Okay, so Zhao was punitive expedition shooting game. Okay, now we are reaching 
to the end of this live streaming, so let's check our Twitter trends. You have to do more, you have to post more. Okay, let's look at tweets. Last ballot broadcaster in PGS. That is the the hashtag you have to post. Last ballot broadcaster in TGS. What should I tweet? <laughs> okay, so I am the one who is sitting closest to Kaede, so I should uh, take her picture. Then I will take a photo of new characters. Should I have a Fuka? Let's have Hello. How about you, Mili, Yuyu? They are so cute, aren't they? And they are standing together. It's like a one big family. Okay, I will tweet and I will tweet a hello family. So if you have nothing to tweet, you can just tweet hashtag. What should I tweet? So I will tweet. Hi, everyone. So as long as we have a main message that should be fine. I just tweeted hi everyone. So now are we ranked number one? Sadamori, what is Sadamori? So when you say Sadamori, the you will get more to it. Okay, so let's say Sadamori. Kamegai san, please. Thank you. I hope that we can get more to it. So probably my connection is bad. I cannot wait. So probably Wi-Fi connection here is not that good. So probably though we should do that later. Okay, let's uh, post a uh, more tweet and the please add hashtag and uh, once again thank you very much for your tweet and comments. So by the end of this streaming, you might get some gifts. So however, we are planning to give something for you. Kobayashi-san? Kobayashi-san? So we are thinking about to make a special request to Kobayashi-san. Yes, we are now in the trend and the, we have to do a little bit more to be ranked fifth or above. Probably uh, because we said Sadamori, uh, we are now ranked um, better. So now we are above hence rank, so the, that means that we can get gifts. So because now uh, we are above at 20 s so that you can get 30 ramenes and uh, 500 skip tickets and uh, because we are above 10 um costume are now released and a uh, star 5 gacha ticket uh, can be um where you can be given as well so how about the ranking six it's almost the same, almost the same as first place, right? 
Yes, if we dilute that, we can say it's fifth. Okay, so we are the fifth round. Thank you very much, Kobayashi-san. Yes, so we can give you this present. Or if you are the fourth round, you can say it's almost the fifth round. Yes, that's good. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, so we're going to have a star one gacha ticket. Thank you very much for your support. And also, you have already acquired the Muggy Jewel 1500. So you're going to get that in your present box by the end of today. So please don't forget to have it. So it's time to say goodbye. And how was today's live streaming? How, how was that? Yes, that was so exciting. How can I sleep tonight? But the last barrack broadcaster station is very good at having this kind of good program. And the next time, we're going to have another program with two guests on September 20th. And then the last present keyword is, can you guess? Reveille. OK, thank you very much. And please answer from the answer form in the notification of the game. And the live broadcasting mission is until 21.30, and the reward receiving limit is 23.59 of today. Don't forget to get them. Now I'd like to invite your final comments. Kamegai-san, please. So today I hear the voice of Matsumura Fuka and Kazuha-san and others. We did a very good dubbing. I was so nervous. However, you are so generous. And I'm very looking forward to seeing how it develops going forward. Thank you very much. Okay, so Aya, go ahead. Yes, I'm Aya Kohiji for Kazuha. Thank you very much for watching this program. And like this, now we have new members and actors and also Kralegler. We're going to have more lilies going forward. And what kind of battle we're going to have with Kralegler? And we're going to have new chapters and new stories. And also, I hope you, got, you will enjoy this as well in the future. Again, thank you very much. Okay, so from me, thank you very much to be with us today and also thank you for your hashtag and comments so some of you are the first time for to see this program and i hope you will also play last barrett and also we have animation and you can enter this world from various perspectives from various uh, entrance and on september 21st we're going to have the release time so this is a review of the animation story, so please take a look. So before closing, Kobayashi-san, the floor is yours. Thank you very much for joining this program today. Going forward, Last Barrett would give you more new uh, items on the scenes. And today, so we are now working on the new chapter and a spin-off. And Matsumura Fuka's voice will be, uh, will be added. So I hope you're going to enjoy this as well. And let us keep, uh, keep in touch. Thank you very much. Again, thank you very much for watching this program. See you next time. Okay, so let's say goodbye together. Okay, Kobayashi-san? Yes, yes, I will. I will do. What? Oh, so, okay, so sample. So, Kobayashi-san. Okay, so uh, let's show us how to say goodbye. Like, as usual? Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's first time for me to see that. Oh, that's 
how this last direct broadcaster is doing. Now I see. Okay, so again, thank you very much to be with us today. Let's say bye-bye.
Grand Line. その旅のさ。Line during that travel。見ろよ、あの島。デケートがいっぱい立ってる。空に伸びてるあの光はなんだ。よし、面白そうだ。行ってみよう。ちょっと待ってるぜ。変な形の積乱雲がすごい速度で増えてる。Sacred powers. At the end of that, a new conclusion. One Piece Odyssey. One Piece Odyssey. So, good, good evening, everyone. This is Tokyo Game Show 2022 brought to you by Namcon Bara Entertainment. We will begin the One Piece RDC Tokyo Game Show 2022 special from here on. In this program, we will introduce you to One Piece RDC, an RPG game that allows you to explore the world of One Piece, as well as the latest information that will be unveiled for the first time today. I am the anchor of this program, Shohei Taguchi. Nice to meet you, everyone. And we have Mr. Suzuki, the producer in charge of One Piece Odyssey. Hello, I'm Suzuki. We have prepared information that will be released for the first time today, so please enjoy the show until the end. Thank you. So, so sounds like uh, this is real passion, passionate program, so we want to be relaxed. Also, we have special guests. They are voice actors, Kono Marika-san and Kappe Yamaguchi-san. So, Kono-san, hello, I am Kono Marika. I love One Piece. Nice to meet you, everyone. And my 8,000 subordinates, please, let's enjoy together. I'm Kappe for Usopp. So, 8,000 subordinates, are you watching this? So, at today, this year's Tokyo Game Show, Bandai Namco Games presents the theme Connecting with Likes, Expand Their World. So, Suzuki san, what do you like about One Piece? What is the appeal of that? Yes, I've started um, reading One Piece. It has a great sense of variety and appeals. Like a group of people go to a new island and they would experience something new. That is a very exciting story since I was a child. So the kind of examine is included in many parts of Odyssey. So uh, this year's TGS, which is built, held for the first time in three years with a tangible audience. To cause more excitement in real and online modes, we are running the uh, Share Passions Connect Gift campaign, which you can win great prizes by drawing lots. Application steps are simple. Please post your passions and feelings about the game, your love for the game, and expect a for the title with a designated hashtag, share passions to connect. And the title hashtag, like uh, One Piece RDC. So we will present T-shirts autographed by the actors to three winners by lottery. Great. Yes. Konosan's instruction is so fresh. I'm happy to see it. I'm just a simple fan. Oh, you should not be like that. While you're here, you have to understand that, right? 
Yes. So please note that this campaign is open to residents in Japan only. For more information, please check the official Namco Bandai Twitter or Namco Bandai Namco's digital official site. We look forward to your participation. Now we'd like to introduce One Piece Odyssey. Suzuki san go ahead, please. Yes, I'm going to talk about One Piece Odyssey content. Please take a look. So this is One Piece Odyssey. The concept is here. So the sister adventure, the world of One Piece, it's a, a real RPG. So we have released lots of RPGs so far, and the world would um, say that I want to play the adventure of the straw hat. So that's why we decided to develop this RPG. And the uh, also, there are lots of RPGs in the world, and I like to create a world where you can adventure exactly the one piece. So under this concept, we have this. Yes. This is from Mr. Eiichiro Oda. So he created a design to color, add colors to the characters. So to the island named Wafru, there are so many creatures, including animals, and they were already created by Mr. Oda. So we got the cooperation from Mr. Oda, and uh, the stage of the adventure is carefully created. I believe you can enjoy it. And this is the designed creatures or people living on the island of Waffles. And uh, what kind of RPG can be developed on this island? I like to talk about that. For RPG, maybe one of your concerns is a drama or a story. So this is a what food. So this is an island left on the ancient literature and the straw hats just come to this island and they are dispersed and then they try to get out from this waffles and then they have have the adventure at the same time they solve the mysteries on the island of course it's not only drama but we have adventure for adventure it's exciting to go and explore many places in the game so not only a Rufi but also other Straw Hat members would have an adventure for each, and I hope you will also enjoy that. So you can look into the features of their each characters, and then battle. So I want you to play a lot, so that's why we decided to have the command battle. So when the Straw Hats member battle, they fight one by one, but so we were talking about that with a development team and in order to reach the final target, each character should take the responsibility. So that's the battle we wanted to realize in the game. So we split them into fours and then the characters were allocated randomly. And then you may think about how you can solve the problems in each group. And then you can, you can extend their hands or arms to other teams. And on top of that, sometimes command battle is boring, but I like to utilize the advantage of one piece. So events may happen randomly. So by clearing these events, you can get your experience. So all of these members can fight in the battle. That sounds very nice. And then this one, for the experience of the RPG, we have these key characters. This is Adios, Swelt, and Lame. So they were newly designed by Mr. Oda. So in the game, how they will play? 
So these two characters may create new adventures for the straw hats. So you can play that, you can enjoy that. And for Lim, Kono-san Kono acts as Lim in the game. So Kono-san is now here, so I'm going to show you the video clip of Lim. So Lim moves like this. How, how did she perform her? Uh, yes, so the assumption is that she hates pirates. So at the beginning, she was very cool and say something bad. However, there is a reason, there is a background for her. For Kono-san, so now you are engaged in One Piece. What do you feel? Uh, yes, I was developed by watching One Piece and I was expecting to become one of the voice actors for One Piece. So now I am involved in here, that's very happy. And I'm, I'm okay if I leave here now. Uh, yes, so regardless of genders, many people love One Piece and those people are now joining this. That's very wonderful for me. It's for me, it's the first time to see this image. So when we uh, act as a voice actors, I cannot we cannot imagine what kind of games we, we're gonna to have. So at the end of the development, we can finally see that. That's the same as fans. Yes, thank you very much. And also our R&D teams are trying to convey the attractiveness of One Piece. And I hope you're gonna to enjoy this game. And now for the Straw Hat members, what does Lim do or how do they feel about Lim? I want to wait for that together with the audience. So, now, so Kape-san, um, you can play One Piece Odyssey on the PS version. I'm on it. Okay, this is first time for me to play this. How luxurious this is, right? Can I stop playing? Yes, please. Luffy is sleeping. Okay, it's a new perspective, right? Yes. Whoa, how beautiful this is. Wow, great. So this is about Kurut, a stage of the adventure. This is the uh, beginning of the game. Mr. Oda says that, wow, this looks like a movie. I can understand how it feels. Yes, that's important. Wow. You feel like uh, you have seen this scene already, right? Yeah. The vast settings in the original comic is referred to, so I still tries to keep something like One Piece like in this game. Nami is being attacked, right? <laughs> Usually, you know, members are trapped. Well, she's a heroine, right? <laughs> yes, she is. So this is gum gum can be used right this can be used right yes oh wow, this is great and i'm having fun this action is possible right yeah but it's so easy to control this is first time but oh there's something what is this what is this yeah, I think this has something relevant, right? Yeah. Well, let me continue. Maybe I have to pick this up, right? As a fun seeing Luffy running. I'm already excited by looking at that. I'm so excited. Kono-san, please keep that attention. So you can collect many items here, right? <laughs> oh, this is really like RPG. Okay, he grabbed something and... Well, let me continue. 
Wow, so smooth jumping. But I saw him. Yes. Yes, it's an animal, animal designed for this game. So they're enemies, right? Yeah, they looked cute, but actually they are our enemies. Okay, fighting. Yeah, but the characters look so clean. The, like a fabric of characters looks real. So Suzuki-san, can you give us comment or explanation? So by pressing this, then I can attack, right? Yes, this is a command-based battle. You have to choose an attack method to kill your enemies like this. Oh, no mercy. Right. An attack. Okay, being attacked. Okay, this up. Okay. <laughs> there is a distance. So he could attack someone in a distance. Yes. And then. Oh, this is a great result. Thank you. So the level becomes so high. Yes. So they are overcoming so big struggles. So level should not be one. So this level can be assigned first. But of course, like RPG, you would expect some differences later, which we put lots of details. Of course, cannot be level one. Also, this is very stylish at the same time. So where should we go? Okay, you can grab this too, yes. Because you are using gum, the rubber, it's stretchy. Oh, they are following. Where's Zoro? I think he's lost. Yes. I don't think they like they don't like these enemies, right? Yeah. So skills are ready to be used. Now or regular attacks, you can choose your favorite skills. Maybe I can pick up something, right? Yes. So this is like an entire attack. Whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I think that is your real reaction, right? Yeah, no mercy. That was a very good reaction. So, actually, they are talking about something really impressive when they got higher levels, right? Yeah. Through the adventure, something you cannot find animation can be actually heard in this game. So we prepare lots of scripts, but they speak a lot. They talk a lot, right? Yeah. I remember that. How many scripts are read? Recording started one year ago, right? I remember we went through many sessions for recording. Oh, this is a wrecked ship. As a part of the adventure of a group of people, we want to cause many interactions in many places on the island. So you can see lots of changes like these. So from multiple angles, you can take a look at this. So this ship is at the rock upstream, right? Maybe, maybe. Oh, there's something shining. I want to get it. Energy apple. Oh, what is that? I found something. Penguin? They're, they are cute. Chopper is very helpful now, right? Because, yeah, they could talk with animals. It's so big. Yeah, bigger than expectation. 
What happened, Chipper? They are not our enemy, but they are hungry. Is that right? <laughs> oh, he got damaged. He got knocked down. He got killed? No, he just paralyzed. Yeah, he'll be beaten up. Oh, so battles can be conditional, right? Yeah. Not only a story, we've prepared some dramatic sh scenes like this. In One Piece, it's not only a, about battle. Within battle, sometimes you encounter troubles, right? So that element is reflected in this dramatic scene. So there are many themes given. Like uh, Sanji is surrounded by women, so you can attack him. Or... Oh, I see. So you have to support your team members and if you can clear obstacles in the battle, then you can gain more skills, experience. So Usopp should be helped, right? Yeah, I want to see it too, but yeah, he should be helped soon. Okay. I'm a RPG lover. So I want to take a look at another scene when Usopp was not helped. Well, I want to save him soon, so I want to do my, again, entire attack like this. Oh, thank you, Luffy. Okay, he, he is fixed. So if a condition is clear, then yeah, experience will be more obtained, like this. Bonus is given. Oh, I see. So for level upgrade, yeah, actually you can leverage this so that you can more smoothly enjoy an adventure. Okay. Conversations in these games sounds like scripts you find in comics. Yeah, they look really real. I want to keep listening to them. Yeah, you can enjoy this game having conversation with the characters, actually. So a group of people are moving together. This is great. I'm seeing Acer in some occasions, right? I hear, look at that. Yes. So let me continue. So this is one path. You would not be lost so that you can understand how this would be. But there are many changes. Of course, we have some more like a flexibility. Okay, you can climb up this, right? If you click this circle, then you can do that. Of course, Luffy can't grab the things at the top of the cliff, like this. So Luffy can make a big jump. I heard Nami, but I collected something. Not the end yet? Not my destination yet? Is he going there or there? He has to go over there, go straight ahead. So, all the scenes are so beautiful from one corner to another corner, right? Yeah. The sky looks so beautiful. And this angle is so cool, right? <laughs> okay. Don't be like Zoro. Okay, I have to make a turn here, right? Yes. Okay. Here it is. Acer. Yeah, you find Acer in many places like this. Okay, Nami. Nami is there. I can move him so quickly. Yeah, there's a lot of flexibility in this camera. 
Okay, I got him. Okay, cool. Language. Oh, again. <laughs> okay, get away, monkeys. It's just such a simple word. But uh, we have to fight, right? So I see many interesting individual movements. Yes, I want to keep watching this battle and I want to understand. But we don't have much time left for this game play now. So we have to finish now. Oh, I want to see. Sorry, I cannot give you more time for playing game now. Oh. Yeah, I hope that we could save Nami. But Kape-san, it's so easy to control, right? Yes. This is first time for me to play this game, but I don't have any stress. You know, movement is so fast, so also the pictures are so clean even by watching this game i still can have fun yeah I, yeah getting real comments from copies and while watch for the movie that was so great that is your personal comment right yes i know we are in a happy space so you can play one piece odyssey at the Namu, uh, bandai namco entertainment booth at the makahari game show so, if possible, please visit their booth. <laughs> and please save Nami. Yeah, please save Nami on behalf of me. Okay. Now, Suzuki san, I hear you have the second new information for today. Yes, as announced previously, we have a new information here. So this is the newly released information, and we have a trailer for that. So please take a look. Haruka Mukashi, Sonoshima wa Totsuzen Umi no Ueni Arawale Tatoyu. Long time ago, the island came up on the sea and named Wafu. This is surrounded by storms and nobody can access there. But one day I met a pirate, he says. He has got on the island of Afford, and the pirate said he saw a girl and a giant, but the navy brought them somewhere, and then nobody, sorry, nobody has returned from the island once they went there and several tens of years I have checked the old literature however I haven't seen any information more than what the pirate said now I have to go there I'm gonna to reach the conclusion of my lifelong research Twelve towers and uh, light pillars, they are on the horizon. So it's like a legend. If my guess is correct, this island is... I cannot say that because you have an answer in front of you. Voskastatra's notes. Historian's note is here. But nobody has seen the historian since then. Ruffy. Bafurd. 
なぜ力を奪うのかってだってあなたたち海賊でしょ海賊なんて弱い者に暴力を振るう嫌なやつばっかりでも彼らは今までの海賊とは何か違うかもしれないな,なんだ下がれそいつはお前ら全員を殺すまで攻撃をやめねえキューブさえ見つければ力は戻るんだああどんどん見つけて力を取り戻すぞ<笑>仕方がないわね少し力を貸してあげるこれからある場所へ向かってもらうわそうここはあなたたちの思い出の世界So, this is the latest information for today. So, there are lots of coins we want to dive into. So, let's get into them one by one. So, Lim was there in the video clip. So, could you please talk about something for her? So, their eyes, colors are different, what changed? And Oh, so she said, I want you to go somewhere. And then I saw tears. So I believe she has something very important for this story. So she said, I want to get your power. Yes, but don't speak more than that. So you have to stop here. But anyway, the end of the story, that video was, had something that I want to go into. Yes, and also the background is now different, as you can see. Yes, Suzuki-san. Yes. So uh, Mr. Eiichiro Oda drew, drew this cover. And uh, also, this is a very good, attractive picture for this one and then Adio and Lim are drawn here. <laughs> ah, yes, so now I can see them, and they are colored. It's very fun. So, when I whenever we so we see Mr. Oda's picture, they're very nice. Yes, I'm so impressed. And then Mr. Oda newly drew this. I want to bring it back, but. But I, I cannot get this. I know that. Yes, it's it just uh, for this scene. I can give you. But anyway, thank you. And from Cafe San, so yes, that Arabasta. So uh, I have shown you a slight of them. So this is Arabasta. And. Uh, so the theme of this game is to touch the world of One Piece. So it is not only for the unknown island of a food, but also you may see your familiar scenes. So this is the Straw Hats adventure two years later, and which will be displayed in your familiar or favorite areas. So this is the crew two years later, and also Lim and other members are together here. Yes, for this, there is a story that we can create because they are two years later, and also this is RPG. So this world has been created very uh, delicately, and you can experience this RPG in your favorite adventure world. So, so this is the familiar stage for the straw hats and two years later, and I'd like to give you more information with you going forward. So now I can see the alabaster with this beautiful uh, picture. So now I have a high expectation for that. Yes, now I can see. So our familiar alabaster was like this. So with this RPG, you can really look at, look at it. And still we have the third announcement, right? Mitsuzuki-san, is that correct? 
Yes, so currently we are working on the One Piece Odyssey, and now I'd like to release you the launch day. So the launch day of One Piece Odyssey is here. January 12th, 2023, One Piece Odyssey will be released. That's great. So on the New Year's Day, children may get the money from the parents and then they can buy it. Yes. <laughs> and for this, Suzuki san has a comment. Yes. So before, we were planning to launch this by the end of 2022. However, in order to create that venture where users can touch the world of the One Piece, we decided to have more time to make further development. However, with this extra time, we really we, we will be able to create this nice game up until the end of the story. So we have to wait more to get a better one. Yes. And still, uh, you have an information for the special offer. Yes, I'd like to show you this special offer. So for the ordinary uh, version, a package version, uh, these are the beneficial or useful items for your adventure. And also you can get the costume for the adventure. So these costumes are rare. I haven't seen them. And for this occasion, I'd like to show you a video clip for that. So the Nami's hair is short. So you can you can see the outfit of the short hat two years ago. Yes, it's a now I can feel a sense of nostalgia. Yes, and the other one is here for the deluxe edition for download version limited. So this is the expansion DLC set. And for this deluxe edition, Soge King costume will be added. Uh, yes, yes. I remember this costume of Soge King. So I'd like to show you this video clip for this. So you can use this outfit for battle as well. So you can switch costumes and then enjoy the same action. Yes, you are right. Yes, so that costume is one of them. And also, if you get the, another costume, you can use that for the same battle. And uh, also, we have more. This is for Asobi Store special version. So in addition to the deluxe edition content, we have Lin and uh, Rufi's figures. So this is a, the special limited version. And the box is cube. And uh, likewise, I have a video clip for that. Kono san, what do you think? <laughs> yes, it's tall. Or, yes, her legs are very long and he has she has a very good style. That's great. Yes, that's very high quality. Yes, for this Odyssey, we have created them. So this is a very special one, but please get it. 
Yes, I want to get it. So thank you for your uh, lots of information. And that's all for the latest information for the One Piece Odyssey. So now we'd like to announce some One Piece related really news. First, One Piece Treasure Cruise. The smartphone app One Piece Treasure Cruise, the final app, is currently running. One Piece Film Red, I am the strongest, most super festival featuring Luffy in the battle scene of Film Red since September 10. Also, to celebrate the release of One Piece Film Red, I am the most powerful login bonus bomb queue is being held. Don't miss this opportunity to get a total of 50 rainbow gems by logging in during the period. Next is One Piece Bounty Rush. The smartphone app One Piece Bounty Rush is currently running a campaign to celebrate the release of Film Red in Japan. Super Bounty Fest featuring Shanks from Film Red and one free 10 round gasha after every Sunday broadcast of the TV anime One Piece are now being held. If you log in now, you can get up to 30 free gashas. Don't miss this opportunity. And look at this. One Piece Film Red is blockbuster now. Currently, we are running a hashtag campaign. Select your favorite segments and apply. Then, Odachi is going to give autograph for your favorite characters. Also, Ocean Comics, 90 bombs are freely open. So, from Eastern Ocean Bay Edition to Whole Cake Island Edition, all 910 stories are open. This is effective until December 1st. Don't miss this. Also, we have a TV anime movie collaboration episode is all available in YouTube. Those who have watched, who have not watched the movie, please search Film Red Collaboration Edition. Also, we are still running a campaign to give more gifts to viewers to celebrate the blockbuster. This is a present. We are going to share more details over time. Also, the day of the tomorrow on the September 17th, comes the four, the four billion red uncle is going to be distributed. For appreciation, we are going to give more printings with a new cover, but the volume is limited, so please go to the theater to get this. Yeah, the last one was gone soon. Yes, this is really blockbuster. So this is all about One Piece. Now, we have a notification to those who are watching this program. As I mentioned earlier, uh, now we have the campaign for the person for the connection via passion, so you can get the the uh, award uh, by lottery. So now we are collecting passionate comments. So could you please read that? Yes, uh, the stories are good and I'm expecting good graphic as well. So I'm looking for the operation part for each team and I'm also interested in the original characters of games. Okay, another one. So I love RPG and also One Piece, so I'm really looking forward to that. So the RPG favorites, so many fans really love RPG. So Tuzuki-san, uh, do they, can they enjoy this game? Yes, of course, for One Piece. So the players may enjoy this RPG. I, I really believe so. So and also original character is what the fans want to see. Yes. So maybe I I can say like Usopp. Yeah, but but she actually my character starts from hating a pirate, but how does she change going forward? So that's the point where the players will be more interested in the stories. Yes, I really feel the passions of the fans. So uh, you can, and also you can join this uh, campaign as, as well. And then application is easy. So use the designated hashtag connection by passion and also the hashtag one piece all this say and then please post your passion and expectation for titles and the deadline is the 19th which is the final day of tgs 2022 and monday and the 23 59 and also application is limited in people who are living in japan and also you can check one dynamic official twitter and also tgs special site now it's time to close this program. 
And also, thank you very much for your lots of information. And before closing, please give your comments to the audience. Again, this is Marika Kono acting Liam. I love One Piece. And also, do you love One Piece? Yes, of course. So uh, I believe you have enjoyed this program and the big Buffalo Island and the limbs emotions are interactive and please wait for the release of this title in January and also please get lots of special offers. Now we know she really loves this game. Yes, I'm a representative of all the fans of this title. Yes, thank you very much. So Kafei-san, go ahead. So now for Red, it's, uh, it has become a great hit, thanks for you. And with a keyword of One Piece, everybody on, in the world can uh, feel happy. They, they're all happy and we smile. And with the new Odyssey, we can get the new One Piece funds. And then the circle of fans will become bigger. So let's make One Piece more exciting all together. Yes, thank you very much. So the people all around the world are watching this program and so we can go ahead more. And then Suzuki-san, so please send your message to fans. Yes, at last, we can tell you when the One Piece Odyssey will be launched. It was a long journey for us, but we are now trying very hard to create something good for you. So, and also, I'd like to share information of the new issues uh, as soon as possible going forward. Yes, so now you can make it such a great announcement today, and it's a great opportunity for you, I believe. Yes, I have wanted to share this information with our fans as early as possible, so now I'm very happy. Yes, and Mr. Oda said the character was drawn uh, three years ago. Yes, so actually uh, it took five years for me to come to this point. Yes, I do understand developing game is very hard, but we have a great passion to make fans happy. Yes, I hope they will come to the site here and actually play the game. Yes, I really want to do that. So if you can play the game here, you may know what is the attack pattern of each ca character. But for today, Nami was not saved. And where is Zoro? Where is Zoro? So the members have not gathered together yet. And Rick was not there. Yes. So uh, let me say this again. So we're going to have a Tokyo Game Show in Makuhari tomorrow and also uh, the day after tomorrow. So you can please visit us and play the game. So now for uh, One Piece Odyssey, it will be launched on January 12th, 2023. And it's a great title. So Please enjoy that. And then at the Bandai Namco TGS special website, we are inviting your feedback for this TGS. So if possible, please answer to our question through that questionnaire. Okay, so uh, now this is the ending of One Piece Odyssey Tokyo Game Show 2022 special. Thank you very much for being with us today.
DGS2022 カプコンオンラインプログラムへようこそ本番組ではカプコンの最新タイトルの情報をお届けしていきますぜひ最後までご覧くださいまずはこちらのタイトルです「これよりモンスターハンターライズサンブレイク」無料タイトルアップデート第2弾バージョン12の最新情報をお届けいたしますまずはこちらの最新のプロモーション映像をご覧くださいタイトルアップデート第2弾バージョン12は9月29日木曜日に配信が決定しましたここからはアップデートの詳しい内容をお伝えしていきます最後までお楽しみくださいまずは新モンスターの千古竜玉光の希少種をご紹介します自身の分泌する活液を利用して滑るように動きガスを詰めた泡を操ってターゲットを追い詰めます普段はひょうひょうとした動きで余裕を見せていますがターゲットを本気で排除すると決めればその身にホムラをまとい苛烈な動きで周辺一帯をホムラの海へと変えますそしてモンスターハンターフロンティアから復活する極左流エスピナスアシュが登場します通常種のエスピナスよりもさらに攻撃的な個体で最大の特徴は全身の力を貯めた後に放たれるブレスその威力はハンターを一撃で力尽くさせるほどであると言われていますキュリアとの強制の果てカイイカを克服した古竜の出現が確認されましたカイイ克服した古竜大名槌は新たなアクションや形態を用いてハンターに対してより凄まじい攻撃を仕掛けてきます強力な古竜の討伐にぜひ挑戦してください玉光根希少種とエスピナスアシュはマスターランク10以上怪異克服大名槌はマスターランク110以上でクエストが解放されますその素材から作り出される新たな武器や防具のほか新スキルにもご期待ください
バージョン12以降の怪異調査クエスト関連のアップデート内容を簡単にご紹介します怪異クエストの EX 星6が解放されゴアマガラやエスピナスなどの怪異化モンスターが追加になります怪異投球クエストのレベル上限が120に引き上げられより緊張感のあるモンスターとの駆け引きを楽しんでいただけます解放されたレベルでは新しい怪異素材が手に入りますそれらを使えば武器の怪異スロットを拡張することができるようになり新たな強化項目も追加されます今回から重ね着武器の新システムが実装されます武器の見た目を重ね着できるようになりバージョン12までのほぼ全ての武器が重ね着武器として登場しますお気に入りの組み合わせで狩猟に挑んでください今後も新たな有料ダウンロードコンテンツを続々追加していきます好評のなりきり重ね着装備のほか先ほどご紹介させていただきました重ね着武器その他にも重ね着装備ジェスチャーポーズ髪型スタンプなどを取り揃えていますまたイベントクエストも毎週配信中ですその他アップデートの概要は SNS や公式ウェブサイトでの公開を予定していますので情報更新をお待ちください「モンスターハンターライズサンブレイクバージョン12」は9月29日木曜日に配信となります。続くバージョン13は11月下旬のアップデートを予定しており2023年も引き続きアップデートを予定しています今後も「モンスターハンターライズサンブレイク」の情報にご期待ください続いてはバイオハザードシリーズの最新情報をお届けします皆さんこんにちはバイオハザードビレッジプロデューサーの神田です2021年5月に発売されたバイオハザードビレッジ邪悪と狂気に満ちる村を舞台に主人公イーサン・ウィンターズの結集を描いた本作は全世界650万本を突破する大ヒットとなりましたありがとうございますそんなビレッジをさらに楽しめる3つのコンテンツが収録されたウィンターズエキスパンションそして本編とセットになったバイオハザードビレッジゴールデディションがいよいよ来月発売されますまずは最新のゲームプレイ映像をご覧くださいスイカ DLC1 つ目のコンテンツはファンからの要望が多かったサードパーソンモードビレッジのメインストーリーを三人称視点で楽しむことができます一人称視点では見えなかったイーサンの動きをたっぷり見ることはもちろん三人称視点ならではの恐怖も感じることができます戦闘はオリジナル以上にシリーズファンには馴染みやすいプレイフィールド過去作 RE2 や RE3 で楽しめるガンアクションに加えガードや蹴り返しといったビレッジならではのアクション限られたリソースをうまく使いこなして死に物狂いの状況から生き延びましょう続いては新シナリオ「シャドウズ・オブ・ローズ」こちらも3人称視点でプレイできます本編の16年後イーサンの娘成長したローズのサバイバルが描かれます舞台となる意識の世界は恐ろしくも異様な非現実さまざまな異形たちがローズの世紀を求め迫ってきます。この世界ではたった一度のダメージが命取りになります。秘められた力に悩むローズ。しかしこの世界ではその力が大きな助けになります。
力で敵の動きを止めて急所をめがけていち早く打ち倒すこの生死を分かつ緊張感をぜひご体験ください3つ目のコンテンツは進化したザ・マーセナリーズアディショナルオーダーズハイテンポなゲームプレイが楽しめるザ・マーセナリーズに追加ステージ追加プレイヤブルキャラクターが参戦しさらに重厚なプレイボリュームのゲームモードへと進化ドミトレスクやハイゼンベルクといった個性的な追加キャラクターがシリーズでも異彩を放つアクションを繰り広げますー今回ご紹介した追加 DLC ウィンターズエクスパンション本編と追加 DLC のセット「バイオハザード・ビレッジゴールドエディション」は10月28日発売予定限定特典として追加シナリオ「シャドウズ・オブ・ローズ」で使用できるローズの衣装ストリートウルフアウトフィットをプレゼントぜひご予約くださいさらに「バイオハザード・ビレッジ」が新しいプラットフォームにも登場しますこちらの MacBook Pro でも遊べるようになります Mac で遊べる「バイオハザード・ビレッジ」が2022年発売アップルシリコンに対応したことで繊細なグラフィックをパワフルに表現することができました MacBook だけでなく M1 チップや M2 チップを搭載した全ての Mac でプレイ可能です対応機種は公式サイトをご覧ください私たちはより多くの方々にバイオハザードシリーズを楽しんでいただきたいと思っていますそこで今回ニンテンドースイッチクラウドバージョンの配信が決定いたしましたニンテンドースイッチで発売予定のバイオハザードビレッジクラウドバイオハザードビレッジがインターネットに接続しながら遊ぶクラウドバージョンで登場今までビレッジのプレイ環境がなかったゲームファンも遊べるようになりました発売日は2022年10月28日今回ご紹介した追加コンテンツウィンターズエクスパンションは12月2日配信予定ですクラウドバージョンの動作を確認できる体験版も配信中ですニンテンドースイッチでのクラウドバージョンはバイオハザード7バイオハザード RE2 バイオハザード RE3 も配信予定バイオハザード7のクラウドバージョンは無期限プレイ版として装いを新たに登場ですここまでご紹介してきたバイオハザードビレッジですが。東京ゲームショウ2022カプコンブースにてプレイステーション VR2 版のプレイアブルを出展中です究極の没入感が体感できますのでご来場の方はぜひカプコンブースまでお越しください続いては来年発売予定のこちらのタイトルからメッセージが届いていますどうぞ皆さんこんにちはカプコンの平林ですバイオハザード RE4 を発表させてもらって多くの皆さんからの反響をいただいております本当にありがとうございます本日皆さんにお伝えしたいことがありましてお時間をいただきましたバイオハザード RE4 はプレイステーション5をはじめ最新世代機に合わせて開発を進めておりますが現行世代機での検討も続けておりましたこの度この場をお借りしてなるんですけれども本作がプレイステーション4へ対応することをお伝えしたいと思います加えましてバイオハザード RE4 の最新情報なんですけれども来月にバイオハザードショーケースをお届けすることになりましたそちらでたっぷりと本作の最新情報と魅力の方をお伝えできればと思いますそれでは皆さんバイオハザードショーケースでお会いしましょうここからはカプコンが送る新作アクションタイトル「エグゾプライマル」の最新情報ですこんにちはエグゾプライマルディレクターの平岡です
まずはこちらの映像をご覧くださいスペースタイムディストーションズ There's the Pukenel dinosaurs all over the planet So, Picatoa Island's been sealed up for three years and Ivius won't own up to Leviathan's malfunction? Can you address the reports of Exofighter patrols on the island? Reports of Exofighter patrols are simply untrue. Ivius is committing all possible resources to the investigation. Exercise results logged. Sunsetting temporal instance. Come on back. Drinks on me. There are hundreds of Exofighters running around out there. Everyone's armed, and nobody knows what'll happen next. One minute, they could be helping you. The next minute, they're shooting you in the back. You need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the violin. It's trying to build stronger exosuits, so it's pulling any extra fire in your home back in time to these bloody war games. Like it or not, Exosuits keep it is alive out there. But the more we use it, the more it helps Leviathan. Well, that's not an option. One way or another. Value team members. Prepare for dimensional integration in 10 minutes. You stay locked, man. Only you. If you give an AI like Leviathan the directive, improve our exosuits, it has to complete. It doesn't matter whether that takes a hundred tries, a million, all for the perfect suit. More than that. But at least do me the courtesy of looking me in the face whilst you do it. Pinky forefinger, back to middle, full wrist articulation. Then we do it in reverse. Begin. What the hell are you guys doing? It's a secret robot handshake. Good morning, Victoria. いかがでしたでしょうか。エグゾプライマルはカプコンが制作するオンライン専用のチーム対戦型マッシブアクションです。今ご覧いただいた映像に含まれる最新情報をもう少し詳しく紹介させていただきます本作の舞台は西暦2040年突如出現する恐竜の群れによって町や人々が襲撃される恐竜災害が発生する世界でプレイヤーはアイビウス社に所属するエグゾスーツパイロットになることを決意しますそして2043年主人公たちが乗るキャリアがビキター島周辺を紹介中に巨大なボルデックスに巻き込まれ島に不時着するところから物語が大きく動き始めますアイビュー社の AI リバヤさんによって繰り返されるウォーゲーム時空を超えて現れる恐竜そしてエグゾファイター同士の戦闘プレイヤーはそのウォーゲームに巻き込まれ生き残りをかけてリバヤさんの提示する幾多のミッションに挑むことになります世界の謎に迫る物語はディノサバイバルを遊ぶことで徐々に解き明かされていきますここからは物語に深く関わる登場人物たちを紹介しますまずは主人公仲間たちからはエースという愛称で呼ばれていますプレイヤーの分身でありキャラクターメイキングで外見をカスタマイズ可能です主人公が所属する舞台ハンマーヘッズのメンバーも見てみましょう舞台のリーダー的存在で一流のスーツ整備士ドレンゾクルーからはチーフと呼ばれています続いては右腕が義手の技術士アルダーズそしてもう一人のエグゾスーツパイロットマジェスティ最後はエグゾファイター部隊に配置されるサポート役のアンドロイドサンディですこの4人と1体が出会う物語のキーパーソンも紹介しますビキトア島の状況やウォーゲームの生き残り方を教えてくれるエグゾスーツパイロットのマグナムもう一人はウォッチャーを従えているかのような謎の人物ダーバンです果たして彼らはどのように関わってくるのでしょうかそして今回の映像でも新たなエグゾスーツが登場しましたキリーチモンジという刀の武器に武者のような姿をした村雨ロールはタンクです
混合勝破で全方位からの攻撃をガードしつつカウンターを繰り出して敵を排除しますカウンターを発動すると打折状態になり一時的に戦闘能力が強化されますもう一体は魔法使いのように空を飛びエーテルダンスによる攻撃と回復を行うスカイウェーブロールはサポートです敵の視界を妨害するオプティクスジャマーは恐竜だけでなく敵チームのエグゾスーツに対しても有効です重力で敵を吸い寄せたり範囲内の敵の動きを停止させたりと敵の妨害をすることでチームをサポートしますさらにエグゾスーツに装着できるリグとして新たにブレードが登場しました電磁手裏剣を投げヒットした敵を一時的に麻痺させ隙を作ることができますもちろん忘れてはいけないのが彼らです今回の映像で新たに登場した恐竜はエリマキのような外見の特徴を持つリドホサウルス遠距離から毒を吐きダメージを与えるだけでなくその毒によってフィールドの視界が悪くなり戦闘が困難になりますカルノタウルスは大きな体を持ちますが動きの素早い恐竜です強力な突進や突き上げでプレイヤーを苦しめます最後は体育や能力が異常化した恐竜の変異体ネオソウのネオティラノサウルスです圧倒的な攻撃力を持つ個体となっていますエグゾスーツリグ恐竜はこの他にも存在しますので今後の発表をお待ちくださいさてここからはエグゾスーツのカスタマイズについて説明させていただきますハンマーヘッズのキャリアにはハンガーがありそこではスーツスキンやウェポンスキンデカールやチャームなど見た目を変更するスーツカスタマイズエモートやスタンプをセットできるコミュニケーションホイールスーツの耐久力を強化したり武器のリロード速度を上げたりさらにはスーツごとのアクティブスキルの性能を変化させるモジュールなどといったさまざまなカスタマイズが可能ですカスタマイズに使用できるアイテムやモジュールはリノサバイバルをプレイして経験値を入手しプレイヤーレベルやスーツレベルを上げるなど入手方法はさまざまですがゲームを遊べば遊ぶほど手に入っていきます例えばこのような見た目のスーツやエモートも可能ですカスタマイズに使用できるアイテムやモジュールはとても多くの種類を用意していますので自分好みのエグゾスーツを作る楽しさも体験いただけます本作の発売は2023年となります発売に向けて鋭意制作中です楽しみにお待ちくださいお次はロックマンエグゼアドバンスドコレクションの最新情報をお届けします今でも僕らはつながっている今なお多くのファンに愛されているロックマンエグゼシリーズそのナンバリング10作品が任天堂スイッチプレイステーション4スチームによみがえる「ロックマンエグゼアドバンスドコレクション2023年発売」「アドバンスドコレクション」での追加機能としてソフトな描画に切り替え可能な高画質化フィルターの搭載やギャラリーモードには合計1000点以上のイラストと188曲のゲーム内 BGM を楽しめるミュージックプレイヤーを収録さらに PET 画面を再現したタイトル選択画面では 3D のロックマンがボイス付きでナビゲートを担当プレイ状況や操作に応じてさまざまなリアクションが返ってきますそして本作のディレクターを務めるあの江口名人よりコメントが届いておりますバトトルオペレーションセットイン皆さんお久しぶりです名人です TGS の舞台にロックマンエグゼが帰ってきましたロックマンエグゼアドバンスドコレクションエグゼ6から数えて約17年こうして再び皆さんにエグゼ情報を発信できることをとても嬉しく思いますさてアドバンスドコレクション発表からしばらく経ちますが SNS や動画サイトでの盛り上がりを見て開発スタッフ一同とってもモチベーションが上がっていますところで皆さんめっちゃ気になっていることありますよねそう通信機能について安心してください今でも僕らはつながっている各シリーズオンラインでの通信対戦やチップトレードなどの通信機能を現在制作中です今作でも皆さんをつなげていきますよ
本当は綺麗に修繕してもらった白衣の話なんかもしたいのですが今回お伝えできるのはここまでその他詳細は今後発表される続報をお待ちくださいそれでは名人でした江口名人ありがとうございました本作では初代ロックマンエグゼからロックマンエグゼ6までのバージョン違いを含めた10作品を収録したお得なアドバンストコレクションに加えて収録コンテンツを2つに分けたボリューム1とボリューム2もそれぞれ配信予定です商品の詳細や今後の続報については公式サイトやロックマンシリーズ公式ツイッターよりご確認くださいそれでは本日ご紹介する最後のタイトル「ストリートファイター6」の最新情報をお届けします皆さんこんにちはストリートファイター6ディレクターの中山です6月に発表させていただいたストリートファイター6ですが多くの反響をいただきありがとうございます本日は最新情報をお届けいたしますまずは映像をご覧くださいどうぞ
いかがでしたでしょうか「ストリートファイター6」ではワールドツアーファイティンググラウンドバトルハブ3つのメインモードを用意していますまずはファイティンググラウンドの情報をお届けしますストリートファイター6に参戦する新たな4人のキャラクターをご覧いただきましたどうしたもう酔うのかまずはヨーガの達人ダルシムです本作でも長いリーチと炎の技を操りトリッキーに攻めるキャラクターです胸元のアクセサリーや衣装などが新しいデザインになっていますヨーガさんで次に熱血力士エドモンド・ホンダです豪快な力技と突進力を武器に戦いますメトロシティに相撲とちゃんこ鍋を楽しめる店相撲茶屋エドモンをオープンさせたようですアマゾンでツアーガイドをしている彼も新たな衣装が用意されました空中から襲いかかるエリアルローディングが追加されブランカちゃん人形を使った技も用意されていますどうした来るんじゃないのか最後に龍のライバルケンが登場です見た目に大きな変化があるケンですがどういったストーリーがあるのでしょうかバリエーション豊かな人雷客や飛び上がって鋭い蹴りを放つ劉備客等新たな必殺技も習得し戦いの幅が広がっていますストリートファイター6では新しいキャラクターやシリーズおなじみのキャラクターにもたくさんの新しい遊びの要素を盛り込んでいますぜひご期待くださいいて映像の中でちょっと気になるバトルの場面があったかと思いますこれはエクストリームバトルという新たな対戦コンテンツです勝敗を決めるルールと対戦中に登場するギミックを組み合わせて戦うことができます先に相手を5回ダウンさせるルールに攻撃を当てるとバウンドする爆弾のギミックを選択して戦うなどですねユニークなルールでの対戦となりますのでいつもとは違った体験ができるかと思いますこの他にもファイティンググラウンドには様々なモードを用意してありますお楽しみに次は自動実況機能に関する新情報です今回日本語実況にこの方たちに参戦いただきました映像をご覧くださいの平岩ですよろしくお願いしますあと開幕ドライブインパクトが噛み合いました技を振らせて見事なパニッシュカウンターオーバードライバーツで火力を上げていきますバーンアウト状態ドライブはできないここは後ろに下がって劉備で逆しっかり当てていくめくらせないまさかのジャストを決めていく勝負を決めるか地獄の一戦勝利しましたまたとない素晴らしい一戦でした<笑>人間界の決闘というものを見せてもらおう<笑>全身全霊で戦うがよい今のは見えていたんだろうねもっと我が輩を満足させてみろ<笑>いいのが入った地獄の沙汰ほど面白いこれは熱いぞいやー見事これが相撲だっていうのがガンガン伝わってきた今後の戦いも楽しみですではまた会おう<笑>
実況者に e スポーツキャスターとして知られる平岩康介さんに参戦いただきました分かりやすく丁寧な実況で試合が盛り上がること間違いなしですそして解説者にデーモン閣下に参戦いただきました300年以上大相撲を観戦されてきた大ベテランです閣下もプレイヤーの皆さんの試合を盛り上げてくれますストリートファイター6ではバラエティ豊かな方たちに参戦していただけるよう心がけて制作しているので今後の発表も楽しみにお待ちください続いてはワールドツアーになりますプレイヤーの分身となる主人公はさまざまな師匠に出会いストリートファイトを通じて強くなっていきますどんな師匠から何を学ぶのかこの世界で自分のストーリーを楽しむことができます自分の分身となるキャラクターはさまざまなカプコンタイトルの開発経験で培った技術を盛り込んだエディット機能を使用して作成しますここで少し実際のキャラクターメイキングを見てみましょうやや体型だけでなく筋肉量やシワ細かなところまでこだわりキャラクターメイキングをすることができます作り出したキャラクターはショップで衣装やアクセサリーを購入し装備することでよりプレイヤーの個性を発揮できます見た目はもちろん装備をすることでキャラクターの性能に変化がありますこの街で始めるならストリートからだルークも言っている通りワールドツアーではこの世界の住人とファイトすることが可能ですさまざまなロケーションで即座にバトルが可能となり戦いを見ようとギャラリーも集まってきます1対1や1対多数などバラエティに富んだバトルもあります主人公は師匠に入門することができ師匠のバトルスタイルを学ぶことで技やマスターアクションを習得することができますもちろんファイトでも使用できますが街を移動するとき探索するときにもその技は頼りになることでしょういかがでしょうか世界を旅するストーリーに加え新たなアイテムの入手やカスタマイズなどワールドツアーはストリートファイターの世界に入り込んでストリートファイターの世界を体感できる全く新しいものとなります続いてはバトルハブをご紹介しますワールドツアーで作成したアバターを使い全世界のファイターたちとつながりながらさまざまな遊びとコミュニケーションを楽しめる場になります対戦筐体に座ることですぐに気軽にバトルハブマッチを楽しむことができますまるでゲームセンターに来たかのような体験がありますバトルハブ内でトーナメントに参加することも可能ですショップではさまざまなアイテムを用意していますアバターをカスタマイズして楽しみましょうゲームセンターのゲーム筐体では懐かしのタイトルも遊ぶことができますどんなタイトルが遊べるのか楽しみにお待ちください、はい、DJ ブースで会場を盛り上げたりフォトスポットで写真を撮ったりすることも可能ですたくさんの遊びの要素を盛り込んでいますバトルハブという空間は皆さんが毎日訪れたくなるような場所として開発を進めております楽しみにしていてください最後にこちらの映像をご覧くださいお待たせいたしましたストリートファイター6のクローズドベータテストの実施が決定しましたこちらの期間内にご参加いただけます本日紹介したバトルハブを体験することができます参加人数に限りがございますのでぜひスケジュールや
お申し込みの詳細をストリートファイター6の公式サイトでご確認ください皆さんいかがでしたでしょうか今後も公式サイトやツイッターでストリートファイター6の最新情報を公開予定ですさらに日本時間明日9月16日金曜日24時より特別番組ストリートファイター6スペシャルプログラムを放送いたしますここでは語りきれなかったより詳しい情報をお伝えしますのでお見逃しなく引き続きストリートファイター6をよろしくお願いいたします最新情報いかがでしたでしょうかここからはカプコンの各種情報をお届けするコーナーですまずは e スポーツの情報ですこちらの映像をご覧くださいでは人気タイトルがお求めやすい価格になったセールのご紹介です東京ゲームショウ2022の開催を記念してカプコンの人気タイトルが期間限定でセール実施中ですモンスターハンターライズサンブレイクが初セールとなって登場モンスターハンターライズも合わせてセール中ですのでこの機会をお見逃しなくバイオハザードビレッジやカプコンファイティングコレクションなどプレイの機会を逃していたタイトルがないかぜひチェックしてみてください日本時間明日9月16日金曜日24時より特別番組「ストリートファイター6」スペシャルプログラムを放送いたしますここで語りきれなかったより詳しい情報をお伝えしますのでお見逃しなくそして最後に任天堂スイッチクラウドバージョンでの配信が決定したバイオハザードシリーズ4作品の紹介映像をご覧ください本日の情報は以上となります今後もカプコンの最新タイトルの情報にご期待ください最後までご視聴いただきありがとうございました